Hey everyone, Green Bay Greg here. I'm out for closure hunting today. And I tell you what, I found a property in Ashwaubenon, which is an extremely popular area, that sold in 2008 for 135,000, and it's now a Green Bay for closure for 110,000. I haven't seen the inside of it, so I don't know how good it is, but we're gonna take a peek right now and give you a full tour. All right, we just turned on to Orlando Drive, and we're gonna be arriving at 1293 Orlando, which is where this property is. All right, we're here. Let's go take a look. All right. So we have some hard floors in the living room. Pretty traditional ranch style. Looks like you got a nice backyard. The big downer on this property is that highway that's right there. I mean, this is the last house on the street. Yeah, it's Ashwaubenon, but there is a highway there, so you know that going into this. Alright. Looks like a real nice size bedroom. Obviously needs some paint. And a smaller one that'd probably be good for like an office. You could obviously use it as a bedroom, but on the smaller side. Alright, let's go check out the basement. I know before it had some finished area down here. I want to see what's it like now. Hmm. Looks like you got some staining of some type down here on the bottom. At one point it was finished off nicely, it looks like. You got a full bath back here. Hmm. Let's go check out the backyard. So you got a deck kind of covered up by a tree. Yeah, you got a real nice size deck here. Like I said, the only really Debbie Downer on this one is the uh, the highway. All right, considering that house sold for 135 back in 2008, which I would still consider, you know, a pretty rough time in the real estate market. Now that it's at 110, you know, people have been asking me, Greg, why are these properties that were, you know, sold at 135 now selling for 110? And I can tell you why, because it's really difficult to get financing for an owner occupant on those type of properties. You're, the only way to be able to actually really do it effectively is to get what's called an FHA 203K loan, which is where they will, um, where you have to get some bids for the uh, the work on the property to be done prior. If you were just trying to get owner occupant financing, it would not pass an FHA appraiser. Um, for instance, that staining downstairs in the basement could be mold. I'm not sure, I'm not an expert on that. But an appraiser sees something like that, they can't do it. So there, it limits the pool of buyers that can actually purchase these foreclosures. So that's kind of a basic thing. If you have any other questions, I'm real big on education and uh, negotiating for my clients. So just feel free to give me a call. We can have a conversation, 920-215-1637.